Hello YouTube friends. I have a lot of catching up to do and so sometimes when I've got a lot of things to do I make a list. So today is uh, list day and I like a list because you can cross things off can't you and you always feel like you've achieved something, accomplished something. So that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, I'm sitting outside in the pavilion listening to the hens laying eggs because now that the weather's gone a bit cooler they've all decided that uh, laying eggs is an uh, okay thing to do. So I'll, uh, I'll be happy about that. I'm going to make a list and um, have the joy of crossing things off the list. I've been collecting seeds and so I collect the seed heads that are ready and put them in these bags. Now it's easy to tell what each one is. This is the yellow poppy because the seed heads are still on them. This one is uh, Aqualegia. That one gives up its seed very, very freely. Uh, in here, uh, Campion, which is one of the beautiful wildflowers. And then here I have some honesty, which um, I don't grow, but I got given a bunch of um, floral arrangement with some honesty in it. So I've kept it so that I can collect the seeds. And then here are the first of the um, pea pods that I'm collecting from the sweet peas. And uh, I've, I'll show you. Uh, outside. So I have all of these sweet peas alongside the pavilion but when I was planting them out I had about six plants left. I planted them out in this tub on the terrace. Now these are finished, completely finished now, uh, but I'm allowing them to go to seed and I'm going to let them uh, fill these pods with lovely ripe seeds and I'm going to collect these. This is another plant that sets seed very freely. This is fennel. And I've been eating the fennel leaves uh, in salads and stews and so on all summer. But then it's going to set seed. This is the flower here. And then it will set seeds that I can collect uh, again in about a month's time. So it's good to be looking out for these seeds. Here in the strawberry bed, these are the self-seeded marigolds, calendula. And you can see why, because this is the seed head here. And they're so prolific. They, they just set seed so generously. And I won't harvest that, but I'll wait until they go a little browner. Uh, and then I'll collect lots of those seeds then. These are the heads of the calendula. And I collect these as they uh, flower. And I'm drying them on this sheet of uh, muslin that's uh, pinned onto a photo frame. And I've just got those drying here in the house. And then another way of increasing plants is with the strawberries. How strawberries reproduce then is by sending out runners like this one. So they send out a long stem from the main plant. So here is one of those runners and they're sending out another strawberry plant and if, if I left these alone, that would just find the soil and root itself into the earth and make another strawberry plant. So what I do <laughs> is I get a cat. It's important to do it with a cat. Vital, in fact. You're just helpful, aren't you? OK, this is the fourth time I've tried to film this. This is the fifth time I've tried to film this. I weeded out the strawberry bed yesterday. And in doing so, I'm finding all these little runners. So the strawberries, this is how they reproduce. They send out a runner, which is a new plant like so. And so in order to make this into a new strawberry plant, I just get some compost here 
but I'm trying to do this with one hand and tape it with the other. This way I've taken five times to do it, apart from the fact there's a cat photo bombing me. So I'm going to nip that out, which is the little shoot that's going to send out another one. I'll nip that out there. I'd do it with secateurs if I had two hands. I'm going to make a little hole in this pot of compost and shove that as far down as I can and still leave the leaf sticking out at the top and pop that into a pot of my good compost. Now, in a month or two's time, that will have rooted, then I can come back and cut that off and then I'll have another strawberry plant. So you can see that all the way along, I've got pots like that. And so I'll increase my strawberries by, well, as many again. And they were fantastic strawberries this year. Also on the list was to uh, lift all the onions and lay them out to dry. Now I'm taking a risk here. Uh, the weather is still fantastic. I'll keep an eye on the forecast and bring them all in or cover them up if it's going to rain. Another of the things on the list was to take the queen excluder from between the brood box and the super box on the bees. Uh, I took advice from a, a very knowledgeable beekeeper and that's what he suggested I do. So I did it and the other bees looking pretty happy. Also on the list was to find out where that little white hen is getting out of the hen run. So I came to the balcony on the tree house to see if I could see her escaping. She's responsible for eating strawberries, raspberries, blueberries and scratching up one entire tray of wheatgrass in the polytunnel. I watched her for half an hour. I still didn't find where she's getting out. These are the elderberries forming. We'll keep an eye on them and I'll make elderberry syrup when they're lovely and black. Another one on the list was to go and check the cucumbers and gherkins in the polytunnel. I've already made some preserves and I found a whole heap more. <laughs> so I picked them and I'm going to preserve these uh, today. So I picked over them all and cut off the little stems and uh, then I went and gave them a really good wash uh, and I'm just drying them off here now. And what I'll do is, some of them are small so they can just get pickled exactly as they are but some of them are just uh, too big, so I'm slicing those up just to make them all about the same size. And then uh, getting a bit of salt here, not much, just enough salt to coat them all. Um, I'll cover them in salt. It's about enough, Kate, I think. And toss it all around and then I'm going to leave that to stand, probably for the rest of today. Uh, the recipe I did uh, a couple of days ago says 24 hours, but uh, I might just pickle those tonight to see how we go. Yeah, I waited a few more hours and then I rinsed the salt from the gherkins. And they're probably, I thought, enough for two of these big jars. So I put all the whole ones in one jar. There weren't quite enough to fill it, but there will be in a day or two. And then I put all the ones I'd sliced in um, a second jar. I'd made the pickling vinegar. Um, it was white wine vinegar with um, mace, black peppercorns, mustard seeds, caster sugar, a little bit of turmeric powder, um, boiled together for about 15 minutes or so. And that's what I'm gonna pour on now just over this bowl so I don't spill it. So I made, oh, a few litres of this stuff because I've, I've done a, some pickling a couple of days ago today and then there'll be some more to do uh, in the coming days. This one then hasn't got quite a full jar, but I'll, um, <coughs> I'll make that, I'll fill that up in a day or two. And then I wanted to make sure that each of the jars had some of the black peppercorns, mustard seeds, mace blades and so on. So I sprinkled a few of them on. And then the other thing that I'm doing 
um, with each of these jars is I'm putting one little star anise on the top of each one and I want to make sure it's a nice whole complete one because they look pretty. And then I'm adding in a clove of garlic and it's my garlic that I grew. And so I was peeling a couple of those, popping those into the top, just nestled in the top of the vinegar there. And then lids on, and that's two more jars of pickles. And I added those to the, um, the growing number in the porch, which is where my pickles live. <laughs> so back in the polytunnel, I noticed the first of the tomatoes are ripening. There aren't going to be enough of these to preserve, so I'll just eat them fresh as they come. They're going to be gorgeous. It's Tuesday now, and I started the list on Sunday, and I got about half the things ticked off. So I suppose I better keep going. And I didn't even film half of them. It's an endless task. Thank you for watching.